Alright everybody welcome to your third bootstrap video tutorial. I'm Mehul and in this tutorial we'll be creating or uh, just gonna kind of explain you a grid layout in bootstrap. Now a grid layout in bootstrap was necessary because bootstrap allows you to create something called containers and in containers you can have elements in HTML just like you regularly do have but with bootstrap what happens is that these containers are resizable now previously i guess in bootstrap versions 2 point something these containers were fixed so the responsive design was not possible with these containers but with bootstrap 3 and bootstrap 4 as well these containers are now flexible so you can have responsive designs with these containers now what happens is actually this bootstrap framework what it will do is it will divide this right this white thing you see right here this page into 12 equal parts so you see that each of your column would be 12 equal uh, divided in 12 equal parts so if I just check my screen width right now let's just say I check window dot width so you see it's 1600 pixels and if I just divide it by 12 then I get this number right here so I'm just gonna demonstrate you how this will work by a simple HTML drawing and I'm just gonna say this of position absolute top zero left zero bottom zero right zero just in case and I'm just gonna create an empty div 12 times right here so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 all right well I guess I can do that once more here you go <laughs> the nice way all right so inside style what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this should be positioned as absolute or relative float left width whoa, 1600 I guess it was so I'm just gonna take up to three decimal places and height should be 100% and yes now I guess we need a border as well black that should be good and don't forget to add box sizing otherwise it will just calculate your border in the width as well so let's just see okay so we got our one div under that and this is because of the scroll bar right here so let's just get get rid of this scroll bar right here and to do that we can just slightly increase the width so you see I got rid of the scroll bar okay so what the point is that now you see these 12 columns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now these 12 columns are just like your 12 bootstrap columns instead I have hard coded these 12 columns with a specific width which is very close to the 12 percent width of the screen but bootstrap what it would do is it would just flexibly recode this as 12 percent of any screen so you see that for my screen or and for this resolution the minimum width of a container of bootstrap is this this one right here you see these distance between two black borders this is the minimum width an element would have on my screen on my resolution on this current resolution of 1600 by 900 pixels so this is how grid works and for example if I just compress my layout 
to like a 960 pixel not my screen resolution I repeat the layout of my web page so my web page is just set in the central central part of the screen then these 12 columns would be squeezed to that thing again and that is to say if I say like if I do like width of like 960 pixels and then I check out what is the width per 12 that is 80 pixels and I just resize this to 80 pixels so you see that my 12 columns squeezed to 80 pixels so now the width of any of this element is 80 pixels instead of 133 pixels so this thing is right here is dynamic and is achieved by this bootstrap framework right here you have and you don't need to worry much about that but you should know about that and I just wanted to show you how this grid layout is working and finally we'll be creating some awesome websites with this grid layout and with bootstrap obviously so stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then